Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to automate, filter, and extract HTML table from a website to CSV or Excel. For example, I want to filter this Wikipedia table by the open source with the value yes and then extract the wiki software. So essentially, if you see a yes, right, I will extract the wiki software from this table. So it's like Blue Spice Media Wiki, Bookstack, and uh, Clicky2 will be extracted and put into CSV and uh, Excel file. So these two are the sample results. So this is the CSV file. And this is the Excel file. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use office work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So the first step to do this is launch new Chrome. Launch new instance and then put in the website. The rest you can leave it as uh, default. Then you use extract data from web page. Web browser instance is browser. Then you go to the website that you want to extract the table from. So you will have a live web helper. Right? What you do is go to the top left of the table. Right? For this instance, it's wiki software. You right click on it, then you click on extract entire HTML table. Then you click on finish. Then another important step is you need to enable process data upon extraction. So the rest, you can leave it as default. Click on save. Then what you do is uh, create a new data table. So new table would be uh, one row and two columns. So you go to edit, right? So you just put in the columns that you want to extract out from the HTML table. So for this instance is open source for me and then wiki software, right? So what you do is you just double click and then you just uh, type in the column name, right? You can, uh, this column name, it can be a different column name from the website. So what you do next is you need to delete row from data table. So you need to delete the first row, which is empty. Um, I couldn't delete it from the create new tab data table. So I have inserted this step as additional step. This is uh, a bit annoying. So data table is data table, row index is zero, right? Essentially, what it will do is, it will delete this blank row, I, which I couldn't delete. So if you know how to delete this blank row in here, let, just let me know in the comments below. Right. So then you use for each current item in data from web page. Right. This will iterate um, the data row in the data table. Right. It will go one from uh, from top to bottom. So if you click on here, data from web page, click on the triple dot you view, right? You can see the list of um, table. 
sorry, I mean the table from the web page, right? So, so when you say for each current item in data from web page, right, it will go to each uh, row, right, on this table, and then find the value here. So, so I will show you how to find the value later, and then uh, extract out the wiki software. So first you need to set variable first. So set variable. Then you put a percentage, current item, then you put the column and name from the table. Alright, this column will have the yes and no's. Alright, and remember to put a inverted comma, right? And then put the column name and then close inverted comma. Then you put a if, right? So if open source, right, contains yes, and then uh, you can ignore the case. So if it's yes, you need a set variable. You need to grab the wiki software name. So you, in order to do that is you use percentage current item, then the column name, right, which contains the data that you want, then a percentage. Then you insert row into data table, right? Data table is data table, into location will be end of data table, and then this is very important, you put in the percentage, and then you put in the values, right, uh, corresponding to the column that you set up in the data table above, right? So you, so you can uh, name whatever you want in the row, in the column, right? But then when uh, Power Automate insert, right, it will insert accordingly to your position in this insert row into data table. So if your data table starts with uh, soft wiki software and open source, then it will actually uh, do it wrongly because it will insert open source into um, wiki software. You put in the put the wiki software in the first column. So make sure that uh, it's all corresponding to the insert row into data table. Uh, however, you can uh, rename whatever you want here, right? You can uh, rename to the columns that is more fitted to your purpose. So, but just make sure the order is the right order. So after all the if, right, you put in write to csv file so variable to write is the data table right which contains all the filtered value right you need to put in the uh, location of the csv file and one last thing uh, remember you need if you need to include column names, just enable this, right? The rest, you can leave it as default, right? If you only need to extract to CSV file, you can stop the video now and uh, please remember to like and subscribe the channel. Uh, I will sh show you now how to copy the table and paste into Excel. So you need to launch Excel you have a blank document. Uh, everything you can leave it as default. So you write to Excel worksheet. Uh, what you write is the column header row, right? So it would be data table dot column header row, which you can find or type. Uh, you can find from here, right? Column header row. Then you just select write mode on currently active cell. 
So now you want to grab the next free row to paste the data table. So you get first free row on column from Excel worksheet, Excel instance. It's Excel instance, column is one. Variables produce is first free row on column. Then you have to activate cell. So Excel instance is Excel instance. Then you activate absolutely specified cell. Column is one. Row will be the first free row on column. Then you write to Excel worksheet. Excel instance is Excel instance. Value to write is data table. Then write mode is on currently active cell. Then this one is to make your Excel pretty. So you can resize column rows in Excel worksheet. Excel instance and Excel instance. Resize target column. Selection range is all available. Resize type is auto fit. Then you save Excel. Excel instance is Excel instance. Save mode, save document as. Uh, document format default and then you put the document path. If I run it, it will be very quick. So it will open up the website. Right, it will go line by line to search for open source yes. Then you will get a value. of the wiki software All right and then you will paste um, the data in uh, excel so I hope this video has helped you. If this video helps you, please give the video a like and please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.